Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 26 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to focus on the topic of equation of a tangent to a circle. So if you've got a circle, in this video we're going to look at how to find the equation of the tangent to that circle. Now, there's a few other skills you're going to need to know for this topic, such as the gradient, equation of a line, perpendicular lines, things like that. So if you need any extra help on those topics, go back to the previous videos and in the previous videos I've gone through power perpendicular lines, I've gone through gradient and equation of a line and so on. So hopefully they'll be useful for you. In this video, we're going to be looking at the equation of a tangent to a circle. If you have got the Code Miles Revision cards, which are fantastic, card number 51 is the card on the equation of the tangent to a circle, and it'd be really useful for you as well. It's one to stick up on your fridge or to bring with you to school and just make sure that you know that topic. In this video, we're going to focus on the equation of a tangent to a circle. We're going to look at some practice questions or some for you to try yourself as well. So remember to pause the video and give it a shot. So let's get started. Hi, in today's video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. So in this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. I'm going to go through one question for you where I've broken it up into parts where we're going to find the gradient of the radius, the gradient of the tangent, and then we're going to find the equation of the tangent. And then there's a second question for you to try. But if you feel really confident with this, feel free to press pause and try these questions anyway. Now, to find the equation of a tangent to a circle, one thing to know is that the tangent and the radius of the circle will always meet at 90 degrees. And that's one of your circle theorems, that a tangent and a radius will always meet at 90 degrees. So if you can work out the gradient of the radius, then you can find the gradient of the tangent because they're perpendicular to each other. So think back to your perpendicular lines. And then you'll have a line where you'll know its gradient and you'll know a point it passes through. So you can use y equals mx plus c to find the equation of that line. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here we've got a question. It says the diagram shows a circle x squared plus y squared equals 40 and a tangent at the point 26. So the point 26 is a point on the circle and here's the tangent. So that's the line that touches the circle and carries on. And so part A says find the gradient of OP. Okay, so O is obviously the origin, 0, 0. So let's do our little right angle triangle. So let's just get rid of that for the moment. Okay, and we want to find the gradient of the line OP. So let's turn it into a little right angle triangle. And remember, we're going to do rise over run. So in terms of the run, we're going from 0 across to 2 across. So that's going to be a run of 2. And in terms of the rise, we're going from ahead of 0 up to 6. So the rise is 6. So remember, the gradient M is equal to rise over run, rise over run. So the rise is 6 and the run is 2. So we're going to do 6 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that means the gradient of the radius is equal to 3. So that's fantastic. Okay, next we've been asked to find the gradient of the tangent. So we want to find the gradient of this tangent. So remember the radius and the tangent, they'll be at right angles to each other, they're perpendicular to each other. So we know the gradient of the radius, so let's find the gradient of the tangent. So feel free to press pause now and find the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so because we know the radius and the tangent are perpendicular to each other, that means that if we know the gradient of the radius, we can find the negative reciprocal of that. So the negative reciprocal of 3, well, the reciprocal of 3 is a third, so the negative reciprocal would, would be minus 1 third. So that means the gradient of this line is minus 1 third. And that's fantastic. We now know the gradient of the radius, and we've got the gradient of the tangent because this is a negative reciprocal. Also remember, we can check that. If we multiply the gradient of the radius by the gradient of the tangent, they should multiply together to be negative 1 because perpendicular lines with the gradients multiply together to be negative 1, and they do. Okay, so that's fantastic. We've now know the gradient of this tangent. Okay, we've now found the gradient of the tangent. Now remember, we're trying to find the equation of the tangent. So if we scroll down to our last part, the last part says find the equation of the tangent. So that's a straight line. So it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. So y equals mx plus c is a straight line. So the equation of that line is going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. Now we'll find the gradient of that tangent. The gradient of that tangent is minus a third. So it's going to be y equals minus a third x. So y equals minus a third x, I've just replaced the gradient with its gradient plus c. Okay, so we've now got the equation of this tangent, it's y equals minus a third x plus c. Now we want to find the plus c, so remember to find the plus c, we're going to look at the point that passes through, so it passes through the point 2, 6, where the x coordinate is 2 and the y coordinate is 6. And if we substitute those into the equation, we'll find our c, so let's do that. Okay, so we've got y equals, so y is 6, so we've got 6 equals minus a third, so minus a third multiplied by x, so x is equal to 2, and then we've got plus c. Well, minus a third times 2 will be minus 2 thirds. So we've got 6 equals minus 2 thirds plus c. Just multiply minus a third by 2, which would be minus 2 thirds. Now, we want to find the c, so we want to get rid of this minus 2 thirds. So let's add 2 thirds to both sides of the equation. So let's add 2 thirds and add 2 thirds. Well, 6 plus 2 thirds will be 6 and 2 thirds. And then the right-hand side, we're adding 2 thirds to get rid of the minus 2 thirds, so we'll just be left with c. So we've got the c is equal to 6 and 2 thirds. So let's put that back into our equation here. So we've got y equals minus a third x and then we've got plus c remember we've just found c to be six and two thirds so it's going to be plus six and two thirds and that's it we found the equation of the tangent the equation of the tangent is equal to minus a third x plus six and two thirds and that's it we found the equation of the tangent so the equation of the tangent to the circle
circle is y equals minus a third x plus six and two thirds, and that's it. Now you might see this as a top every fraction, so you might see y equals minus a third x plus six times three is 18, plus two is 20, so 20 thirds. That would also be the equation of the tangent, but either one of these two forms would be perfect. And just to recap, if we want to find the equation of a tangent, we find the gradient of the radius, we then find the negative reciprocal of that, we find the gradient of the tangent. We then use y equals mx plus c. We put in that gradient, and then we put in the point that passes through to find the plus c, and that's it. Okay, now let's have a look at a question for you to try. So we've got the diagram shows a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 29, and it's got a tangent at the point negative 5, 2. So we've got the point a, which is negative 5, 2. And I would like you to find the equation of that tangent. So can you find the equation of that tangent? So feel free to press pause now and find the equation of that tangent. Okay, so to find the equation of this tangent, well, we know the radius and the tangent are perpendicular to each other, so that means they cross at 90 degrees. So that means if we can find the gradient of the radius, we can do the negative reciprocal of that to find the gradient of the tangent, and then we can use y equals mx plus c to find the equation of that tangent. So let's find the gradient of the radius to begin with. So in terms of this radius, so this radius, let's do our little right angle triangle. So we're going to be going across and down. So this is the point zero, zero. So we're going to be going 5 across, the run is 5, and the rise, we're going from a height of 2 down to 0, so the rise is negative 2. So the gradient of that tangent is m equals rise over run, so it's going to be the rise, which is negative 2, over the run, which is 5. So that means the gradient of the radius is negative 2 fifths. So that means in terms of our tangent, the gradient of the tangent m would be equal to the negative reciprocal of this. Well, the negative reciprocal, it's already negative, so when we do the negative reciprocal, that would be positive, and the reciprocal of 2 fifths would be 5 halves, so 5 over 2. So that means in terms of our tangent, the equation would be in the form y equals mx plus c, and we know its gradient is 5 halves, so y equals 5 halves x plus c. So we've now got the equation of the tangent, but we just need to find the c. So let's find a point that passes through. Well, it passes through the point here, the point negative 5, 2. So let's write our x coordinate and our y coordinate and substitute those in. So y is negative 2, so we've got negative 2 equals 5 over 2 multiplied by x, which is negative 5, plus c. Okay, now let's do negative 5 times 5 over 2. So to do negative 5 times 5 over 2, well, I'm just going to do it over here. So 5 over 2 multiplied by, well, I'm going to multiply by 5, which is 5 over 1. 5 times 5 is 25, and 2 times 1 is 2. So that'll be 25 halves. And remember, it's a positive times a negative, so it'll be negative 25 halves. So we've got the 2 is equal to negative 25 halves plus c. Now, we want to find out what the c is, so we don't want this negative 25 halves here, so let's add 25 halves to both sides. So let's add 25 halves to the left-hand side, and let's add 25 halves to the right-hand side. Now, you could have looked at the 25 halves and said, well, it's 12.5, because 25 divided by 2 is 12.5, so you could be adding 12.5 to both sides here, and that'll give you your 14.5 on the left-hand side. Okay, but let's just work this out. 2 plus 25 halves, well, 2 is equal to... 4 halves, so 4 over 2, plus 25 halves, which would be equal to 29 halves, or and if you have that, that's our 14.5. So 2 plus 25 halves would be 29 halves, so we've got 29 halves, or 14.5. And then on our right-hand side, we're adding 25 halves to get rid of the minus 25 halves, so we'd just be left with C. So we've got the C is equal to 29 halves. And we can just substitute this in to find the equation of the tangent. So you're going to get that Y is equal to 5 over 2X plus 29 halves. And that's it, just replacing the c with 29 halves. And that's it. Now, you could have written this in another way. You could have written it as y equals 2.5x plus 14.5. So if you're in that format, that's fine as well. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. So in this video, we've looked at finding the equation of a tangent to a circle. I hope you find it useful. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through how to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. I really, really like this topic, and hopefully you do too. It's one of those ones that sort of, it would sort of be a bit trickier because obviously you've got lots of different skills involved. So if you can get this one right, fantastic. It'll be some great marks to get in your GCC higher exam. So keep up the hard work. There's 26 days to go into your GCC Mavs exam. Tomorrow there'll be 25 days to go, so a quarter left of the video. So keep up the good work. You're doing fantastically well, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Cheers. Bye.